ever stood on a bus and uh, found out that the bus driver decided to do a prank on you, and then the bus driver suddenly do a turn and a hand slip from the handrail, and then you find yourself flying towards the other side of the world? Now, that kind of stunt will probably earn you some evil stances from a fat lady you just bumped into. Nice standing, by the way. And you can learn something about safety rules of public transportation. But what you should really learn about is physics in this case. Now, we can learn about a few things in physics in this incident. The first thing is, when you do a turn or a circular motion, you will need certain kind of force that pulls you towards the center of motion so that you can proceed nice and smoothly. And the second thing is, the faster the turn is, the more force you will require. And that force is called the centripetal force. Now we can apply this concept to the things that have been dangling above our heads for eons, which is i.e. the stars, because we know that the planets are orbiting around the sun and the stars are rotating around the galaxy core. Now, what does this mean? It means that although they are undergoing some circular motions, their functions should be the same as what happens on Earth. That means they will need some centripetal force in order to move this way. Now, but there are no ropes, no strings or handrails for these stars to hang on to. So what is the centripetal force there? It's gravity. And in a nutshell, gravity is the force of attraction between any two objects with mass. And the closer they are together, the more attracted they are towards each other. So how does dark matter fit into the picture? Now, I mean, it can be a complicated thing to talk about it, but from what we have just discussed, the more a star is away from the galaxy core, the less attraction it will feel, and the slower it should move. However, if you point your telescope up onto the sky and do some observations, what you realize is, despite moving further and further away, the stars maintain their speeds. Now, there are clearly some problems here, and scientists discovered that you can actually explain this without refuting Newton, by saying that there are some hidden mass in between the galaxies that act certain kind of like a glue to bind all these stars together. And that is dark matter. Dark matter is the invisible hidden matter that presides all over the universe and they act a certain kind of glue to bind these stars together as galaxies. And next time you know that dark matter is the thing from, that saved you from the disgrace of flying towards another galaxy far, far away. Thank you.